What's up guys, how's it going? It is Matt here. So today we're gonna to be talking about my newest edition of firearms. Traded a couple guns and I got something that is really fun and I'm enjoying very much right now. So we're gonna be talking about the Ruger Blackhawk. Let's get into it. Now, if you guys remember, a little while ago, I actually picked this up for my daughter. This is the uh, Rough Rider uh, 22 uh, single action revolver. Uh, my daughter's really fallen in love with it, and I've been, uh, you know, I, it's been fun trying to teach her how to use it, and her grouping is getting really good with it. But I was also having a lot of fun with it too, because there's something about being behind a manual gun, if you want to call it that, you know, the whole single action thingy. There's something about being behind a manual gun like this, a single action gun, that it's just really fun. It's just really, really fun. So what I decided to do was I decided to uh, make a couple trades and pick one up for myself as well. So now we match. <laughs> so you have her, uh, you know, little Rough Rider up there and then my Blackhawk up here. Now uh, the next video I'll be doing, I'll be talking about the guns that I traded in for it. Um, but basically I have a, a, a saying, you know, like I live by a certain way, is when I have a bunch of guns that sit in my safe and I rarely use them, I trade them and get something I will use. And this is, is, is just fun. I mean, it is just fun. So I'll talk a little bit about this one. So this is the Ruger Blackhawk, like I said. Um, this one is the 357 Magnum. So if you guys know what that means, that means it's a 357 Magnum, but at the same time, it also can shoot 38 Special, which is kind of nice. So you have that going for you, especially with the ammo shortage and everything else going on now. So we have 357 Magnum, which will, you know, has got a heck of a punch to it. It's fun to shoot, got a nice little fireball that comes out of it. And then you have a 38, which is basically like a nine millimeter when you shoot it. Now, a plus with that is that this specific model, this, like I said, this is 357 Magnum 38 Special, comes with a nine millimeter cylinder as well. So let me pull it out for you. Here it is. And there's a little fancy thing. It's like one of those crown royal <laughs> uh, things that comes with it. So let's see if we can get it out here. There it is. So there's the nine millimeter cylinder that comes with it. So this, just like any other uh, single action revolver, we can change it out. You push this little lever here and, and then you kind of push this guy out or you pull this guy out right here. You push this, pull this out. You open the loading gate and then the cylinder falls out. So right there is the nine millimeter. So I think it was a real big score. Um, I actually traded three of my guns, and I had I had a check of two hundred dollars to go afterwards, and I picked up some ammo as well. So this one, um, this Blackhawk, when I picked it up, I'm gonna say you know, your average is gonna be about yeah probably seven to nine is depending on what model you get and stuff like that. You're gonna find it around there. Is when I picked this up, it was right about six hundred. It was used. But it came with all these different things. It came with, like I said, the, the 38 357 Magnum cylinder, and it came with a 9mm. You can tell it's definitely an older model here um, when it came to this nice little box. Not much else came with it. But today I decided to take it out to the range as well because I just picked this up uh, last weekend. And I, I could actually bring it out to the range this weekend. And I actually fell in love with this. It just fun, it, It's fun to shoot. It, it's so fun to shoot. And for a 357 Magnum and such a heavy gun like this, if you guys don't know, the uh, Ruger Blackhawks are very, very heavy. They're heavy duty. They're one of the probably the heaviest you know, single action revolvers that you'll find. Um, they're built. They're built as tanks. You know, Rugers are pretty much built as tanks. They're made to last and they shoot very well. So you can put tons of thousands of rounds through this and it will still be working great. Now I just want to show you how it went today at the actual range. So here's my target. Now this is mainly 38 special, but I did throw a, uh, but you know, a little bit of 357 Magnum downrange. And 357 Magnum actually there was right over in this area is where I got them right there. You see this nice little kind of hole that's up there. Um, and the rest of it was 38. I tried it at distance. I did my 30, actually 50 yard headshots is what I try to do. It was printing up a little bit for me, but that's okay because this guy. I'll grab my daughter's 22 here. 
because this guy actually has adjustable sights on it. So the sights adjust up and down and left and right. See that right there? All you need is a small flat head and you can adjust the sights to work. So when I first got it, I was printing a little bit high. Now it's still slightly a little high, but it's, it's within reason. All right, that's what I kind of like. That's how my, my last measurements I made or the last changes I made, I brought the rounds right down over here. See this little grouping over here? That's where I brought it. So overall guys, I have, I'm really loving this gun. It's such a fun gun to shoot. And now my daughter and I kind of have a nice little hobby that we can get in together. So we have her 22, which we just go out and just have a blast with. And I mean, it's still just fun to shoot. Then you have my uh, 38 special which works good. And I did have her shoot this a little bit today. And uh, she's like, whoa, this kicks a lot more. I'm like, well, it's because it's not a 22. <laughs> so she's learning. Now there's a couple other things that's different compared to this to like say your standard like single action revolvers. And let's show that to you real quick. So first, so this is based off of your standard single action revolver. So basically what that means, this also has safety on it because it's a Rough Rider, is in order to get the cylinder to work, to load it, to unload it, you have to bring it to half cock, okay? Right there. You hear that? those two clicks? Right there. You bring it to half cock. Then you unlock the loading gate and then the cylinder is free, all right? That's like a standard single action revolver that most of them are based off of. And then to actually shoot it, you cock it all the way back. I'll make sure that's closed. You cock it all the way back and then you shoot it, right? This also does have a transfer bar in it only when the safety is up. When the safety is not up, then the transfer bar isn't working. So if you choose on carrying something like this, this is a 22. First, I wouldn't recommend carrying that. I mean, it'll work. But if you're going to, you have to load this with five. Otherwise, this hammer will be sitting down on the primer. Now, compared to this, this is the Ruger Blackhawk. Now this is, it looks like a, a classic single action revolver, but it's a little bit different. Most people know this if you know this gun. There's no half cock position in this, so you cannot put it in half cock, okay? The way how this one works is all you have to do is open the loading gate, and then it frees up the cylinder. And then you just load it from there, okay? And then you just close it, you close the loading gate and it locks back in place. Now, just like every other single action, obviously you, you had to pull it back every single time you shoot it. Now, what makes this better for carrying for this besides the caliber is, you know, because this is a much better caliber, 357 Magnum, 38 Special, or nine millimeter if you switch out the, the cylinder, is you can actually load this with six if you're carrying that because this is has the transfer bar safety. So basically what that is, is I'll pull this hammer back here. I don't know if you can see it very well in this, but right down in here, there's a transfer bar that goes up and down. Let's see if I can get it in the camera. So basically what that does is when the hammer is forward like this, it is actually on this transfer bar down here this little bar down here. I don't know if you can see it there. So you can actually load this with six rounds in the cylinder because the actual hammer is not touching the firing pin or where, you'd hit, where the firing pin goes in. So this is designed to carry it with six if you want to carry it with six. So this is definitely a better option for carrying if you want to do this. For me, this isn't really a carry gun. I mean, it could be. For me, it's a fun gun. You know, it's a fishing gun. It's a trail gun. If I'm going fishing, I'll load it up with 357 Magnum just because we do have black bears in the area. And the rest of the time it'll be 38 special plus P as if I want to carry it. But when you go to the range, I'm just shooting 38 for it because it's just a fun gun to shoot. So there you have it guys. Here is the Ruger Blackhawk, okay? This is a very beautiful gun. I might change out the grips, make them like a nice kind of a texturing because these are very smooth. I might change out the grips to like kind of a fancy thing. I'll get myself a holster for it and stuff like that as well. But there you have it guys. So that is the Ruger Blackhawk 357 Magnum. If you like this video, guys, like, share, subscribe, tell your friends about me. And remember, it's our responsibility to take care of each other and protect each other. Peace.